on the channel from Wave 2 of New Japan Pro Wrestling via Super 7, Naito. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another New Japan Pro Wrestling Series 2 unboxing and review via Super 7. And for all your Super 7 needs, including New Japan Pro Wrestling, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. And of course, as I always say, go to Big Bad Toy Store, pick up your Super 7 items as you do not pay until they ship. Link in the description below. And today, we've got Naito. Yes, he is here today, the final piece of of the New Japan Series 2 puzzle as we've unboxed all the other ones on the channel here. And hopefully you guys have been following along. Hopefully you subscribe to the channel, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, but maybe we saved the best for last. I don't know. You guys will be able to tell me and maybe I'll be able to tell you as at the end of the video, we're going to rank the entire set. And we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. And Naito, my first experience with him was during his little run he had in TNA back in the day. That's where he first became on my radar. And as usual, I am no expert on the New Japan Pro Wrestling figures. Uh, or the wrestlers, I guess. I don't know about the figures, but... It depends who you ask, I guess. But uh, I can look at it from a wrestling uh, historian of figures. Eh, fair enough, right? Uh, mine. But I am not super deep into these characters. This isn't going to be like an Ultimate Warrior type review, as you guys uh, can imagine out there. But let's take a look at the packaging first. We know the New Japan packaging by now. We love it. It's got the King of Sports... A uh, nice, cool logo going on right there. Same as all the other ones. Name down below. New Japan Pro Wrestling, King of Sports with the slip cover on the back. One thing we love about Super 7 is the package uniformity. It doesn't matter if it's Thundercats, uh, Power Rangers, or New Japan. It's all the same. And As you guys know, I do keep these packaging. Let me stick it over here to the side. Try to keep it nice, undented, all that kind of fun stuff. See you later, of course. And then there's the packaging right there. Ooh, we get a title belt. We get extra heads, and that's the head I know, the one with him wearing a hat. Whenever I think of him, I think of him wearing his hat. All the extra hands, as usual, and it looks like I've got a soft goods jacket as well. Uh, this is the only figure in this wave to come with a title belt also, if uh, for those keeping track at home. Uh, but familiar packaging with the ring post, all that going on, King of Sports logo, uh, the name as well. Same thing on the sides. Top, not super fun on the top. All the credits down there, and then on the back, oh, the old tail of the tape, and he's got his classic look out there. That's the other thing we know him from, the very classic. So you got that going on right there. Let's see what it says about him on the back. Five foot 11, 225 pounds from Tokyo, Japan. His finisher, the Destino. Twitter, S underscore D underscore Naito. So there you go, Naito, 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 Naito. Eh, depends who you ask. But let me crack him out, which I already got him pre-cut, so there we go. And we'll show off the old plastic prison. Let's see what all the fuss is about with old Naito Nato. Oh, we get two shirts going on here. Look at that. I didn't realize that was part of the package, but I'm here for it. There he is, the old plastic prison right there. And like I said, you got the soft good shirt right down at the bottom there. So that is pretty cool. A little choose-your-own-adventure time with this one. All right, let me crack him out of the package, and we'll be back to take a look at Naito. All right, we're out of the package. Time to rock and roll here. So now we got a lot of accessories with this one, a lot more compared to everybody else there. We do get all the hands. We've come to expect with the other three we've unboxed, one, two, three, four, five sets of hands plus six on him. Uh, one thing I'll note is he does have one fisted hand on here, uh, but the other hand, he's got the metal hand going on. So no double fist like we saw with everybody else. There is a point of difference there. Uh, I'm just going to stick him on a ringside collectible stand right now. Why not get to it right away? Ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. So there he is. Fits perfectly on there. Uh, but we got all the hands, like I said. But then we get the Los Ingober... In Groberlays, I don't think I'll ever be able to pronounce it. You know, I can barely speak English, let alone any other language under the sun out there. But we do get that soft good shirt. And one thing about Super 7 that they promote on their shirts, and it depends how you sit. Where do you sit on this? Uh, it is actually like a shirt. It pulls off and on like a shirt. Where Mattel, some of the companies out there, they have Velcro on the back to undo the shirts. And honestly, I think I prefer that because it is a lot easier. This one takes a little bit more work to get on your figure. It's like putting a real real shirt on a person is what it's like so some people do prefer that 
Personally, I do not, uh, but to each their own out there. So you do get that extra shirt, which I was not aware of. You guys know we pre-ordered these well over a year ago, so you forget what you're all getting by the time they do come. Uh, so we do have that. We do have the IWGP Intercontinental title here. Now, you got to be delicate with these titles. We learned that in Series 1 that a lot of them broke and snapped, unfortunately. So I'm going to be extra gentle with this, but a nice white belt, Intercontinental title belt. Uh, not quite the Ultimate Warrior's white Intercontinental belt or uh, Shawn Michaels' white Intercontinental belt or Cody Rhodes' white Intercontinental title belt or The Miz. That would go on and on, couldn't we? Uh, but uh, very interesting. It's nice to get a belt, though. Like I said, this is the only figure to get a belt in this series, too. Uh, but then we get the extra head. And once again, when I think of Naito, I think of him wearing this hat. Uh, he wears it awfully high on top of his head, but that must be the style over there. Uh, but he does have his hat on, which is pretty cool. And he's got kind of the, the winking eye there, so you can do the gimmick there. And he does have the hands, so you can put his hands up there. I mean, that's how you're going to have to pose him. That is his That is his almost Hulkamania pose, some might say. So we got a lot of accessories in this one. And then the accessories continue as we do get a zipper jacket. And the thing that takes this one to the next level is it has an actual zipper on it. So you actually zip this up and down. Man, that is pretty much next level. You do not get that on a lot of action figures. That is for sure out there. And then he's got beautiful coloring here with the blacks, the reds, and the whites. I uh, got the sand hour clock on the side here. Got a little logo action on the coat. Uh, he's back, He's all about the tranquilo on the back of his shirt there. He's got that going on. And then he's got, of course, his faction's name on the side, which I'm not going to butcher again. Does have a nice hoodie with this one, of course, as well. So, man, that is next level stuff on this uh, jacket here. I mean, I don't think I've ever had a wrestling figure with an actual real zipper hoodie uh, going on. Oh, holy cow, and we've got a lot going on. we got more surprises. Now, how do I get this jacket unzipped? I'm a little nervous here. I don't want to break anything. I'm going to pull these hands off. I'm going to pull this head off, and I'm going to... Th I'm hoping... Hoping I can just slide this off the top, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. That's I like it, and I don't like it. You know, I love this amount of detail, but boy, uh, who's got time to disrobe their figures, go through all this, all that kind of fun stuff. I mean, it is a lot of work. Like like I'm saying, it's a full-time job, but it's, I don't know, this is interesting. I'm not sure exactly how you get this jacket. It does, oh, there it goes. It finally unzipped for me. Jeez, you got to be smarter than the zipper. I've had that trouble in my life a few times. I'm sure we all have, uh, but I got that off there, that off there, but that's where the surprises keep going here. Uh, I can't believe that. So underneath, we get the IWGP heavyweight title underneath here. Might as well switch the heads now. Why not? Got one off. So that is a bit crazy. I was not expecting to get the uh, title belt under here, and I was not expecting to get another T-shirt under here. So they really went all out. So two soft goods shirts and a soft goods jacket. Man, that's a lot of accessories for one figure. Uh, personally, couldn't you put an accessory with somebody else maybe? Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to take this heavyweight title off. I'm going to be as gentle as possible, and I can see exactly where you could rip off the little uh, pieces. you got to be real careful on these belts. They are not meant uh, like a Mattel belt or an old Jack's belt or something. you got to be extra careful here. But it's silver, black strap, another title belt. Uh, like I said, they used all the accessories on this figure. That's just absolutely crazy. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Articulation-wise, he is the same as all the other figures there. You've got... Uh, the ankles that go all around, up and down. No side to side on the ankles, though. But you got the knees, single jointed knees, uh, legs. He can do the splits out, up and forward, back. Elbows are single jointed, hands removable all over the place. We do have nice little forearm guards, kind of sweatbands going on with nice graphics on them. Head, of course, removable, articulation at the waist, and then, of course, the ab crunch. So all the typical articulation you're used to. And then, yeah, he's got a t-shirt. Once again, it is a t-shirt you pull over the head. So there's going to be a lot of different glamour shots with this figure. Between the three shirts, shirtless, different heads, different hands, uh, there is a lot going on here. And then nice title, or title, boot belt designs here going on. Uh, just a lot going on with this figure. Boy, they really did go all out for uh, Naito out there. And obviously a big star these days, a very popular one. You know, he's transcended uh, New Japan. As a lot of people all over the world know him, of course. And they know some of the other guys as well. Uh, but this one is pretty interesting with the accessories, the extra heads, the hands, and all that. 
Boy, that's that's a lot packed into this. So if you're picking and choosing out there, a lot of us order the whole set, I'm sure, but some of you guys might be picking or choosing. This could be the one to pick up just because of the accessories alone. Uh, you got to think a lot of the budget was uh, made for Naito in the set. So there it is. But very, very interesting here. Very interesting. Uh, of course, we do get the rest of his stable mates in the line. we got Evil and uh, Obushi as well. So we're building out teams in our New Japan Super 7 if we want to. Uh, there's just a lot of figures. There's eight figures in the New Japan Wave. Will we see a Series 3? I'm not exactly sure. I don't know what's going to happen there. you think it would have been announced by now. My gut says no, but you never know. In this crazy action figure world we're in, uh, especially in 21, 2021 as we sit right now. So there it is. There's Naito. How about we do a quick end of the video where we rank Series 2 from my favorite to my least favorite. All right, we've come to the end. It's time to rank series two from my least favorite to my favorite. And this one is a bit tougher than a traditional Mattel Elite unboxing is. I don't have a nice tight connection to these guys where most Mattel sets, Jazzwares sets, I got my favorites, I got some of that going on. So I'm basically looking at these from just a strictly figure point of view here. Uh, so it makes it a little bit more of an interesting dynamic in my rankings. And as usual, you guys put your rankings down below. Uh, tell me your order as well. Uh, but let's get it started. So who's going to be number four for me? I think I'm going to go Takahashi. And nothing against Takahashi. Uh, it just doesn't have as many bells and whistles as some of these other guys. And that's what it came down to, really ranking these out here. A nice white coat on him. It does look really good. Uh, but I'm just putting him at number four. All these guys got the same amount of hands. I mean, you got to take the hands out of it because they're all the same. They all have all that. Uh, it comes down to what kind of accessories and how toyetic are they at the end of the day. And a little bit, how much do I know about them. But I'm almost equal across the board here. So there you go. So Takahashi, he's coming in at number four. Then I got to go to number three. And number three would have been number two, but there's one issue. And that is staining of the figure. So Evil, unfortunately, Evil, you're coming in at number three for me. Uh, he probably would have been one higher, except for that staining issue on his arm, which is very unfortunate, as you guys are fully aware out there. Never like staining of our figures, especially this expensive of a figure out there. But man, cool accessories to boot on this guy. Uh, married to Io Shirai or dating Io Shirai, as you guys know and maybe learned in the review we did. Uh, a fabulous looking figure, just a few missteps with the staining. And the staining is what kept him and made him go to number three, which leads us to number two, where it was very close. But I'm going to have to go to Bushi. Bushy, 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 I think. Uh, you guys know I'm a sucker for a mask character out there. And man, getting three extra masks with this one, beautiful. Now, it doesn't have a ton of accessories. No jackets, title belts, stuff like that. Uh, but the masks just look amazing. And as I've been saying in these reviews, I do think Super 7 does a great job on face paint and masks. Where the human face they're a little bit more to be desired, I think, we're from where I sit, as you guys know, which is right here at this table. So that leaves Naito as number one, and Naito, what really put him to that top of the list was a fabulous extra head sculpt with the hat. I thought that was a nice touch. But then all the accessories, two title belts, two t-shirts, an actual working zipper on a jacket, uh, that is a lot. And then a strong name, a name everybody knows across the world in wrestling, of course, probably the strongest name of the bunch, at least from where I am. And a guy I followed in TNA, so that helped a little bit uh, with my rankings. But you can't deny that he is packed with accessories. And I got to think, a lot of people picking and choosing, they're going to Naito just because of all the extras with him. You could get a lot of use out of all those extra shirts and stuff if you really needed to out there. So a strong set. I don't know if it is as strong as Series 1. Uh, there's still a lot left to be desired in the New Japan Super 7 figures. Uh, I'm not going to hold my breath for Series 3. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. But, you know, stranger things have happened, as we all know out there. But we'll see what happens with Series 3. Uh, I just don't know how well these are selling. My gut tells me, as far as Super 7 business model goes with their Ultimates... I would have to think these are the worst selling ultimates of them all just because New Japan is great. There's a lot of wrestling fans out there, but to the majority of the consumers, I think these are a little bit deeper cut than maybe a lion -O, a Power Rangers team, G.I. Joe, Transformers, stuff like that. I think those have a bigger name value and a bigger collector's model value where there's a lot of wrestling figure collectors out there, but they're sticking with Mattel. They're sticking with Jazzwares, and if they're getting this deep, uh, I don't know. I don't know how many there actually are, but I don't have the books. I don't know what their sales are. That's just what my gut tells me. But an interesting line, and one of those lines for value that I think in many years, if this is it, if this is the last line they release, 
many, many years from now, I think these will be high dollar, much sought after items. Uh, it'll be a nice footnote in wrestling figure history that we'll be talking about. Maybe in 15 years, we'll do a New Japan retrospective of figures. Who knows? We'll see how that ends up shaking out. But an interesting lineup in Series 2. But I'm interested to hear who your favorite is. Who's your least favorite? Put them in order. You try it. Give me your thoughts on Naito as well while you're here. Uh, probably the crown jewel for most people out there. I know it is for me. How about you? Let me know your comments down below. Make sure you like this video. You made it this far. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Support the channel. But for Naito and the rest of his New Japan pals, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.